personal. It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. All right, so we continue our voyage all the way back home. As uh, you know, y'all can say the day. I want I want to talk about this fight because to me, this is truly like one of the best fights in boxing that could be made, um, and it's made. Like like like, there's no speculation. There's no going back and forth. It's signed, sealed, and delivered. Date, venue, network, all those things have been ironed out and announced to the public. So y'all can save a date. December the 16th, we will get one of the biggest fights in the lower weight classes between Jesse Ben Rodriguez and Sonny Edwards. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What a great fight. Now, I'm letting y'all know in advance. I'm going to be at this fight. I'm going to Arizona for this fight. I've never been to Arizona before, so if you're in the Arizona area or if you have plans on going to the fight and you want to meet your boy BT, get on touch with me in he or on here or on Instagram or on Twitter, and I uh, will definitely uh, hear the roosters, hear, hear, the, hear the roosters, cock a doodle dooling. Anyway, yeah, let me know if you guys want to meet, 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 uh, meet me out there in, um, in Glendale, Arizona, because I'm, I'm going to be out there. But uh, hell of a fight, hell of a fight. You know, uh, I think the narrative going into the fight is that. You know, as 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 good of a of a of a as footwork as Sonny Edwards has, and as great as he is defensively, Jesse Bam Rodriguez uh, has too much firepower for him to keep him off, and it's going to be a, a very very hellacious beatdown uh, for Bam Rodriguez of Sonny Edwards. Now, I'm not mad at you for thinking that because I was I was watching tape, and Bam, when he closed that gap, even even in some of the performances where where he was scrutinized, like Christian Gonzalez and. Israel Gonzalez. He still had hello. He still had some great moments in those fights. Like uh, when he closed that gap and he gets the and, and he's able to change that angle on you. Very very good fighter. Um, has decent fun, has good fundamentals. You know keeps keeps a good high guard. Uh, moves his head well. Always in the um, position to create new angles. He kind of does have a little bit of Orlando Canisales, the great Mexican fighter from from way back when. If you know your box history, if you know you know. Um, but at the same time, I was going back and I was watching Sonny Edwards. And yes, I understand Sonny Edwards only has four knockouts. He's, he's one of the lightest punching world champions in boxing. I get all that. But Sonny Edwards probably has the best understanding of, di of distance. And, 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 and he's probably skill-wise, whole skill set-wise, not one of the best, not just one of the, not, not just the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in, in the UK, but he's one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in boxing. And I also think he's one of the best defensive fighters pound for pound in boxing. So it's a hell of a style matchup. And then what I noticed with Sonny Edwards too is when, because he's fought some rugged guys like Felix Alvarado, who was champion at 108. Um, that last dude he fought, Campos, another rugged guy. Um, the, the Middle Eastern fighter, uh, Mohamed Wasim. These are all guys that brought the pressure to Sonny Edwards. And what I saw in all those fights is I saw Sonny Edwards have the remedy. I saw him have the, the answers with counter punching, you know, uh, whether it be counter straight right hands, the counter check left hook, the counter left hook in the pocket. And then the best part about Sonny Edwards was when he was able to, when the, when the opponents did close the distance or did push him into the ropes, his defense was tight enough to block the shots, to parry the shots. And I saw a fight of that for, for, for all the talk about him not having knockout power, he has a willingness to him to, to go to that body and he's very good. Uh, subtly at placing these body shots and yeah maybe they're not the hardest punches in the world but these guys aren't necessarily they're respecting it enough for him to still maintain his distance and move around the ring so there, I, I think I think Sonny Edwards is a better boxer than he gets credit for and there's more that meets the eye with him um, I think it's a watershed moment in the career of Bam Rodriguez because Bam in 2022 did his damn thing you know beat Carlos Cuadras stopped him become champion then he beat Rung Versailles in one of the best performances of last year you know he was getting a lot of fighter of the year consideration last year before Bibble beat Canelo and um you know he plateaued Israel Gonzalez meh Christian Gonzalez meh you know they weren't the performances of the other fights right that got people excited about Bam so um I'm, I'm intrigued I'm intrigued because one thing about it is uh Sonny Edwards is 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 really freaking good. Like they're both really freaking good. 
and I don't have a prediction yet, so don't ask me. But they're both, I think, when it comes to what they both do, like Bam is great mid-range fighter, uh, good basic foundational boxing skills. Then he's got the Ornendo, Connie Sales, Lomachenko, you know, uh, uh, quarter turns and angle shifts to get around fighters. But then it's like, okay, the fight within the fight is, okay, if, 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 because Sonny Edwards, footwork-wise, foot speed-wise, elite, like creme de la creme, top shelf, where the mom keeps, where mom keeps the peanut butter. That's what he is. He is the man when it comes to footwork, positioning, right? So my thing is this. It's kind of like, in a sense, I, I, you know, style matchup. There's some similarities in the style matchup to, like, T.F.M. Lopez and Lomachenko. Uh, and the reason I say that is because Lomachenko, much like Bam, he uses those uh, those quarter turns, those little angle shifts, those step arounds. Um, that's what gets him going. That's, like, what gets him a lot of momentum. And when, when you don't give him that, when you, when, when you don't give him that sidestep, when you don't allow him to shift angles on you, um, his rhythm isn't the same and then it's harder for him to get going offensively, right? So my thing is, if Bam limits that part of, or uh, Sonny Edwards limits that part of Bam Rodriguez's skill set, does he have, you know, the answer? And that, that's probably, to me, the most intriguing thing about the fight. Um, from the Sonny Edwards side of things, the guy has, like, the guy is not a big puncher at all. Like, he, like his, rec his knockout percentage is there to be judged. But like, at the same time, you know, there's more to boxing than just knockout power. And I do think from what I've seen on tape, from what my boxing eyes tell me, um, when guys bought the pressure, whether it was Alvarado, Wasim, um, Campos, and yes, those guys are not bam. I get all that. But those guys were live bodies, and one of them was a former world champion in Alvarado. And, and, and Sonny had the answer, and Sonny showed a willingness to, to hold his ground and, and fire away in that pocket. Now, he's got to be careful with that, right? Because if he does that with bam too much then his ass is going to be grasped before the fight's over. So it's a really, really beautiful fight stylistically. Um, I think both guys can win. Like, I really feel that way. And, you know, there's been a lot of fights this year that were big fights where I didn't feel that way. Like, I didn't think that uh, Crawford could be, uh, uh, Spence could be Crawford, I should say. I thought there was no way in hell that was happening. All right, that's one of them. Um, and there's been a couple others, but, like, that's one that really sticks out. Um, but this one is not that. I actually think... Style-wise, this is one of the most interesting fights in boxing. And um, it's one of the most competitive fights in boxing. Because I know, I know Sonny Edwards is tired of people not giving him his just due. Um, he never gets talked about even by the British media as being the most skilled pound-pound fighter they got. And to be honest with you, I think he is the most skilled pound-pound fighter they got. Hands down. Um, he just needs the right opponent to prove it, and now he's getting it. So that's why I'm going to this fight. And I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. So I'm looking forward to meeting any, any, any of my viewers in Arizona. Um, you know, I've never, I never been to Arizona. I've, I've dated some girls from Arizona. I love, the, I love me the Mexicanos from Arizona. Those, those are like the best ones. So, you know, who knows what happened that night. It's going to be an eventful night in more ways than one. But I digress. Great fight. Happy it's made. Shout out to both fighters for fight, uh, getting the fight done. Bam and Sonny. They continue with this great trend we had this year in 2023 of, 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 of fans getting the fights that they deserve and fighters getting the fights that they deserve. And um, may the best man win. I don't got a prediction right now, but uh, I look forward to being at the fight. And we got a lot of time to dissect it. So maybe, who knows, maybe this might be like the new inner way forward to close the year out. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll do the road to Bam and Sonny because... You know, this fight will get overlooked because you guys are in a lower weight division. And I do like both these fighters. And I think it's just a great fight for boxing. So, uh, yeah, man. Leave your comments down below. You know, let me know what you guys think. You guys going with Bam? You guys going with Sonny? If so, please disclose and let me know why. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So, until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on the Untouchable. True Sports Empire. We're here at the Hantanaka Boxing Gym in Nagoya, Japan. And uh, for more great videos just like this one, make sure you guys click right here.